anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about measures of central tendency and group data. What is measures of central tendency? Measures of central tendency, it refers a single value that attempts to describe a set of data by identifying the central position within that set of data. We will discuss about mean, median, and mode. Mean is also known as average. When we say average, it obtains by adding all the values divided by the frequency of a data set. So what could be the formula for the mean? So mean, that is the summation of x, that is the sum of all the values in a set all over n, and that is the total frequency. Let us identify the value of the mean in the given 4, 1, 4, 5, and then 6. The formula mean it is equal to the summation of x over n. So we need to add all the values of x. That is 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 all over the total frequency if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So divided by 5. So it means the numerator, if we add all, that is equal to 20 divided by 5. 20 divided by 5, that means it is equal to 4. How about in example number 2? Let us find the value of the mean in the given 1, 2, 4, 7, 9, and 12. So the mean, that could be the average. So the formula, summation of x over n. So we need to add 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 9 plus 12 divided by the total frequency if we add 1 2 3 4 5 6 so divided by 6 so let us add all the value of the numerator that is equal to 35 and then copy the denominator 6 35 divided by 6 that is equal to 5.83 so the mean equals 5.83 How about example number 3? Mila is applying for a scholarship. Find her average grade using the given 88, 94, 87, 91, 88, 90, 93, and 89. Formula for the mean, it is equal to the summation of x over n. We need to add all the grades that is 88 plus 94 plus 87 plus 91 plus 88 plus 90 plus 93 plus 89. Divided by the total frequency, so let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So divided by 8. So let us add the value of the numerator that is equal to 720, copy the denominator 8. So 720 divided by 8, so the mean equals 90. How about example number 4? Find the mean of your score in your exam in mathematics. We have 43, 45, 33, 23, 24, 25, 13, 15, 19, and 17. The formula for the mean, it is equal to the summation of x over n. We need to add all the score, that is 43, plus 45, plus 33, plus 23, plus 24, plus 25, plus 13, plus 15, plus 19, plus 17. Divided by the total frequency, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So divided by 10. We, if we add all the value of the numerator, so that is equal to 257, copy the denominator 10. 257 divided by 10, so it means the mean, it is equal to 25.7.
How about the median? The median, that is the middle value of a set of data when all values are arranged in either ascending or descending order. So let us identify the value of the median in the given 4, 1, 4, 5, and then 6. The very important, we need to arrange that in ascending or descending order. But this time, we need to arrange in ascending order. So first, the lowest number, that is 1, 4, another 4, 5, and then 6. As you can see, the number of frequency is 5. So it means the middle, that is equal to 4. So the median equals 4. How about number 2? Let us find the value of the median 7, 9, 2, 1, and then 12. So we need to arrange in ascending order. So first, we need to write 1. Next to 1 is 2. And then 7, 9, and then 12. So let us find the middle. So the number of frequency is 5. So the middle, that is 7. So it means the median, that is equal to 7. In example number 3, find the median score in your exam in mathematics. We have 43, 45, 33, 23, 24, 25, 13, 15, 19, and 17. So, we need to arrange that given in ascending order. So, let us find the lowest. So, the lowest is 13. So, 13, we need to write. After 13 is 15. 17. After 17 is 19. And then, let us see, 23. 24, 25, and then 33, 43, and then 45. We may also arrange that one in descending order from highest to lowest score. So the highest is 45. So it means 45, 43, 33, 25, 24, 23, 19, 17, 15, and 13. So it's your choice if you want to choose ascending order or descending order. But then, as you can see, the middle are the same. 23 and 24 or 24 and 23. Why dalawa na yung middle? Because our number of frequency is 10. That is even number. So it means the middle is between 5th and then 6th. So how to solve the median score in your exam in mathematics? We have two value of the middle. So let us add using the formula for the mean, summation of x over n. So it means 23 plus 24 divided by 2. Or you may write 24 plus 23 over 2. 23 plus 24, that is equal to 47 divided by 2. That is 23.5. So it means the median, that is equal to 23.5. How about example number 4? Mila is applying for scholarship. Find the median if her scores are 88, 94, 87, 91, 88, 90, 93, and 89. We may arrange this given in ascending order. So the lowest score, that is 87. Next to 87 is 88. And then 88, 89. After 89 is 90, 91, 93, and 94. We may also arrange that one in descending order from highest score to lowest score. So it means 91, 93, 91, pwedeng pagbalik na rin, 90, 89, 88, 88, and 87. So let us see what is the middle. So the middle that is 89 and 90 or 90 and 89 because the total frequency that is equal to 8, that is even number. So let us find now the median. The formula mean that is equal to the summation of x over n. So it means 90 plus 89, or you may also write 89 plus 90, that is almost the same, divided by 2. 90 plus 89, that is 179 divided by 2. So 179 divided by 2, that is equal to 89.5. So it means the median equals 89.5. What is a mode? Mode, the value that most frequently appears in a set of data.
There are four types of mode. First, that is unimodal. We have one mode. Second, bimodal, two modes. Third, that is trimodal. We have three modes. And then multimodal, that is more than three modes. Let us identify the value of mode and its type in the given 4, 1, 4, 4, and 6. What do you think is the mode that is most frequent? So the mode that is equal to 4 because 4 that is written 3 times. So what do you think is the type of mode? The type of mode is unimodal because we have one mode. How about in example number 2? Let us identify the value of modes and its type in the given 1, 2, 7, 9, 12, 7, and 12. What do you think is the mode? The mode is 7 because that is written 2 times. Also, 12, that is also the mode because that is written 2 times. So it means this type of mode that is bimodal because we have 2 modes. How about in example number 3? In the given 43, 45, 33, 23, 24, 25, 23, 25, 45, and then 17. So let us identify the mode. So the mode that is 23 because that is 2 times. Another mode that is 2 times that is 25 and then 45. So it means the mode it is 3. So it means that type that is trimodal. Mila is applying for scholarship. Find the modes if her score are 88, 94, 88, 91, 88, 90, 93, and 88. Let us identify the mode. So let us see, ano ba yung pinakamarami? So ang pinakamarami, that is 88. 88, that is written 4 times. So mode, that is equal to 88. So what type of mode is this one? So that is unimodal because we have one mode. Let us find the value of the mean, median, and mode. First, we need to identify the value of the mean in the given 12, 5, 17, 23, 15, 5, and 32. So the formula for the mean, that is the summation of x over n. We need to add all the value that is 12 plus 5 plus 17 plus 23 plus 15 plus 5 plus 32 divided by the total frequency that is equal to 7. If we add the numerator, that is equal to 109, copy the denominator 7. 109 divided by 7, that is equal to 15.57. So it means the mean that is equal to So let us find the value of the median. First, we need to arrange in ascending order. So that is 5, 5, next to 5 is 12, 15, 17, 23, and 32. So this the number of frequency that is equal to 7. So we will choose the middle. The middle is 15. So it means the median equals 15. Same given, let us find the mode. We may also arrange that one in ascending order. So that is 5, next to 5 is 5, and then 12, 15, 17, 23, and 32. So the most frequent appears that is 5. So it means the mode that is equal to 5. How about example number 4? 
Let us find the value of the mean in the given 15, 12, 11, 15, 16, 33, 44, and 31. The formula, summation of x over n. So it means we need to add all those numbers. So it means 15 plus 12 plus 11 plus 15 plus 16 plus 33 plus 44 plus 31 divided by the total frequency that is equal to so, the value of the numerator, if we add all, that is equal to 177 divided by 8. 177 divided by 8, that is equal to 22.13. So, the mean equals 22.13. Same given, that is 15, 12, 11, 15, 16, 33, 44, and 31. We need to identify the median. Let us first arrange in ascending order from smallest to largest. So that is 11. Next to 11 is 12, 15, another 15, 16, 31, 33, and 44. So the number of frequency that is equal to 8. So it means the middle that is 15 and 16. To be able to identify the median, we need to add divided by 2. So it means summation of x divided by n. So it means 15 plus 16 divided by 2. 15 plus 16 is 31 divided by 2. That is equal to 15.5. So it means the median that is equal to 15.5. Let us recap what you have learned about the measures of sensual tendency. Measures of sensual tendency, a single value that attempt to describe a set of data by identifying the sensual position of that set of data. We have mean, median, and mode. Mean, that could be the average, median, that is the middle value, and then the mode that is the most frequently appears. We have four types of mode, that is unimodal, one mode, bimodal, two modes, trimodal, three modes, multimodal, that is more than three modes. Instruction, find the mean, median, and mode of the following given. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.